was just messaging you. I was literally typing, you ready? And you oh, called. Well, I knew you were ready because you were chit-chatting on the on the, uh, the little group yeah. chat. So I'm like, oh, this cocksucker's, uh, you know, chit-chatting. I don't have to wait till 10, but then I had to go pee, so it ended up being 10 anyways. Yeah, no, I was literally just writing you. You ready? Yeah, well, I'm ready, baby. Are you I'm ready? ready. I am, I am, I'm born ready. Are you already? It's been a long day. It's been a long oh. week. Uh, you're, you're, you're kind of, uh, you, you kind of make all my weeks long, to be honest with you. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. You're, you're the guy that doesn't know what day it is. You I know what know day it is. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Don't get, you don't even know. You don't get cute with me. I, I know what day it is. I know it's Thursday. I believe me. Just because <clears throat> you only know because there's his AEW was last night. Yes, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Knew I was it. Say, there was wrestling yesterday. I know what day it is. Yeah. So what, 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 what's going on? I feel like I've been out of the loop. What, what loop? You're in. You're in any loop uh, I'd be involved with. Nah, but like I'm missing some of the messages in the group because I've been. Work and meetings and trust in the process and you know circling back and uh, circling back and and you know what was the other term I I forgot it already yeah Some, something is king I don't know of uh, uh well controversy is king right oh, yeah I have no idea that's an Eric, that, that sounds like an Eric, a controversy is cash isn't that an Eric Bischoff like an Eric Bischoff quote yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I feel I feel like I'm out of the loop. I'm, I don't know, no idea. Yeah, I don't no know. clue. I don't no know clue. Yeah, yeah. So it was a good what show. You got? You got that was a, speaking of wrestling. That was a good show last yeah. night. It's uh, like I actually uh, watched it today uh, while I was in meetings. Yeah. Um, oh, there was some really good wrestling on that show last night. Uh, it's just the, the product is so good. It's weird though. I, it's 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 uncanny. Um, like Cody's gone right now. Right. Like he left. He made a nice right. little post. His wife made a post. AEW made a post. Everyone kind right. of mutual appreciation club this week until and either each other, until whatever. until we find out it's a work, and right. then all the boys are gonna be so mad they got worked, or. We find out that he's signing somewhere else, and then it starts to get snippy, which would also be very entertaining. But it's funny because it's like I was sitting there watching the show last night, and I was just ticking off on my hand, like all this big talent that they signed that does not get on TV. Like, right, Rusev. Like, Where the fuck is Rusev? Christian never wrestles. Uh, right. You know, uh, it's crazy. There's, I mean. You know, I'm drawing blanks on a lot of stuff right now, but I mean, I mean, you had, I mean, it was like, you know, kind of, kind of like a, a good selection of guys uh, that were on the show. Something happened. Ten I clock. moved the computer two inches. Episode four hundred and twenty-seven. We still can't get it right. Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's crazy like that. But uh, we're actually getting close to episode two hundred of uh, the furlough files here. We're like one ninety five or six or something. It's, okay. it's dangerously close. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find your replacement for uh, episode right. two hundred and beyond. And my replacement. <laughs> well, Move it. Ain't gonna be Billy because he's out whoring himself to other podcasts. Right. Moving on up. But I, I was just like, I was like, my God. I, they... I actually heard Seth Greg was available for this. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> he's available for a lot of things. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> But, I, but we'll get off the wrestling thing. But I was just going to say that, like, they have so many people. I can't. I don't understand. Like, they have so many people that they're not using on a regular basis. Right. Uh, for the televised product, because they only have three hours of of TV TV. Like, there's, you know, I, I like I purposely lowercase the TV when we were talking about this EC3 thing that uh yeah that we were talking about earlier on the chat because it's like everyone says they've got tv until you realize it's like on a pay window on a janky app somewhere you know that you have to you, right, you, you right. know so that ain't tv that's that's lowercase tv in quotes um right but there's so many yeah. guys that they've got that i mean they they like tony niece they signed i think i've seen him wrestle once 
once. He's been there like like, like, wait, like five Jay months. Lethal. What about oh, Jay yeah, Lethal? Oh yeah, I would. That's another. One. I was like, where the fuck is Jay Lethal? And how are these people? How's everyone cool with this? You know, it's like, but but there's only three hours of TV, and it's not like they have two minute matches. You know, they have when they put their mat. You know, when they put a show on, there's these matches go 10, 15, 20 minutes, some twenty five minutes. Uh, some longer. It's like crazy. Like, why is Jay Lethal not in a program with somebody? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. You know? It's cra- right. and, and this may all be answered on their four hours of internet wrestling that they have. The you know the YouTube shows, but that, that we don't watch. Yeah, yeah, but it don't count, right? It don't count. I mean, where's right. she, like Sheeta was their world champion. Where the fuck is she? You know what I mean? Right. They 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 uh they. Uh, I mean, I guess by default they're showing her when they show Serena Deeb talking shit about her in a promo, but neither of them are on TV actually, you know, having the the matches, you know. So I, I don't know what they're going to do, but I think I think Tony uh, uh, Khan has a real problem. I think he signed too many guys. I he think, has a real problem. I think even like high-end top-level guys, he's got too many now. Um, right, right. And people keep I coming agree. in. I mean, you know, and and I think he's also realizing uh, this year that I can't be everyone's friend. I got to be the boss. And yeah. I think that's uh, that's going to be a harsh reality for a lot of people there sooner than later. I agree. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, whatever. I agree. Well, yeah. Enough wrestling talk. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Yeah, let's go to football. No, I'm kidding. Football's yeah. over. <laughs> well, well, no, wait. It's got to be the weekly fuck Brian Flores comment, but now we can continue. No, 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 I'm good. I, I did read. I not, it has nothing yeah. to do with Brian Flores. I read that Deshaun Watson is eyeing two yeah. teams he'd like to play for. And I'm like thinking, well, ain't, oh. that, ain't that a luxury? Uh, you know, you still have like 20 assault charges or, or groping charges or whatever they were against you right. with all these masseuses. But you, but you have places where you want to play. It's like you should be thankful right. any team wants to take you at this point. With that bag, right? But he, but the two teams were he was. What teams? It was the Vikings and the uh, Buccaneers. Oh, Buccaneers, Jesus! How do you go from Tom Brady to him? Could you imagine? Well, no, that's a good reload, man. He's a good fucking player, man. He's just a. Yeah. He's just a. He's an off the field problem, like twenty four seven. It it seems like. Surprised he's not going to go to the Patriots because they have like an in with massage <laughs> parlors. So. That's true. Uh, the owner knows. <laughs> The owner knows a guy that he knows a thing or two. Listen, yeah. that guy skated, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, Deshaun Watson's right. got 14, 18, whatever charges against him. Oh, yeah. Uh, now I will say I did see Carson Wentz rumors to the Giants today. Well, how do you feel about that? Since that's your team. I mean, anything's better than Daniel Jones. It's horrible. You, you, you think they? How does that go? Is he a free agent, or do you have to trade for him? I think it was said it was a trade trade yeah, deal. That's that's rough. I'd honestly Carson to, to trade for him. Unless, I mean, Daniel Jones is the absolute. No, shit. no, 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 no. I'm not saying stick with Daniel Jones. I'm saying see what else is out yeah. there or just draft another guy. Your team was bad enough where they can draft a quarterback in the first. Well, we have the fifth and seventh route, uh, fifth and seventh pick. Right. Package those up, move up, and get your guy. Right. Uh, Go get exactly. your guy. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, uh, now that we bore people with wrestling and football, and stuff, <laughs> well, now, now, now that all the cool people, only the cool people are left. Uh, what do you want to talk about? So now that just Speedy's listening, <laughs> uh, he fell, he fe- he was, he was still with us with the wrestling, but he fell asleep with the football. Right. What? Uh, I am going to weigh myself tomorrow, Speedy. So I don't have an update tonight. I ate seven slices of pizza. So we're going to wait till tomorrow. Uh, you know, after my morning poop ski and, uh, I'll come back on the next podcast with my weight, hmm. so we know where I'm at. Because I, you know, he's he's doing pretty well. He was going to go to no carbs this week, supposedly. I'll tell you, I don't, we don't know how that went. I'll tell you both that I know for a fact, without even getting in the same room as a scale, that I'm at my highest ever. I know for a fact that I am just like at an all time high right now, and that really? uh, I also know for a fact that I purposely ate. The, like I ate over eight today to make sure I ate the rest of the like food that I have in the house so that I can either if I have to go buy something, it's going to be diet food 
or that uh, I'm just not going to eat for like three or four days. I think I need a good I need a good Come fast on. to like get just kickstart the keto and get get all the get all this weight uh, all this water weight out of me. Well, we we just went to a pizza place I'd never been to before, and it was packed. So I was like, this place is going to be good, great pizza. Uh, but my mom, you know, she thinks she's keto. This is uh, this is why I got to wait till ten o'clock. You guys are out having pizza, and I got to fucking well, no, we were do we a were, podcast we at ten o'clock. Somewhere. We were we were in another town, so I wasn't shit even close asses. to home. Shit so asses. All she of you. got this family bowl, of shit asses. like a pizza bowl, yeah, crust. Yeah, uh, so it's just like sauce, cheese, and toppings in a fucking bowl. Meatballs and onions or something. And yeah, uh, the meatballs, no, no restaurant <sighs> makes meatballs without breadcrumbs. What is she thinking? It was ground beef. It wasn't meatballs. But oh, oh, my oh. pizza was fantastic. Yeah, that's all I know. Uh, but she thinks she's. It's just you know this keto. I I just don't believe in it anymore. It's not. It, too believe, up and down. It worked for you. How do you not believe in it? When you did it the first time around, you lost minute, a, sh- a, sh- a shitload of weight. The minute you eat a fucking carb, 50, 60 pounds heavier. Yeah, that's it, why. it's a lifestyle, not a diet. You have to change. Yeah, you have fuck to, that lifestyle. I don't want to go my stop. whole life without eating pizza and cheeseburgers. <laughs> I don't and... either, but I think I have to. I think I have to. No. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn me into a fat diabetic with his foot rotting off if I don't stop eating. <laughs> fat diabetic? <laughs> You end up with the gout, like Jackie. The gout, I think that's a different. Uh, that's a different. I think that's an alcoholism related uh, sickness. Uh, I think. I think diab. I think the 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 my uh my problem. I'd get diabetes or something. Yeah, probably, probably would. Uh, uh, all right, so let's get to the real story here. What's the real story? So work meetings all week. Um, you know. Fucking, there we go. Circle back. I, circle back to the work stories. Circling back to the work story, but there's a reason for it. We're on a co- call with somebody who's very high up in the company. Very high up. Very. He's on the video screen, so he's not in person with the so, all of us that are there. A big muckety and, muck. Uh, big muckety muck. Right. So this was yesterday. So you know he's it's like an hour presentation and it's very, you know, just, we're not, we're just listening. So the hour ends, any questions and everybody, you know, a couple of people ask the questions. All right, he's going to wrap up. And he's like, well, I just got one more thing. Like, this is a very high up person in the company. Like how, I just have one more like thing. How high? Oh, okay. How high from like, like the tippity top? Is he like two removed? He's like a vice president. Yeah. Okay. Like, like you're talking major money, lives in LA, mm. uh, big time. So, all right, you know, one more thing he says, and everybody, okay, yeah, what, what's the one more thing? He goes, I was just hoping that during my presentation, Janetti would be back there making a TikTok. This is what he says. Mm. That's what he said, right? So, you, and everybody, the whole room like, turns and looks at you, right? I'm sitting in the back row, like I am dead center back row. <laughs> everybody turns and looks at me. I didn't even know what to say. <laughs> I just, I honestly, I just put up my hands and I was like, oh, sorry. Uh, and everybody started laughing. Now, there's team knows, obviously, but we had another team in from another area. I don't know anybody on that team. So, you know, it was a TikTok joke, and my team laughs, and everybody else is, like, just staring at me. So it's like break time. So, you know, now they're coming up to me one by one. What's this TikTok? Like, what? You're on TikTok? And, and now my team is putting me over. And you guys don't know he's an international celebrity. Like, you know, so, you know, right. So they're putting me over. The other people are like, what? Like, you know, they don't know nothing, you know. Uh, don't even know what TikTok, you know, they know what TikTok is. They just don't have it, you know. Mm. And uh, so now I'm like showing videos and, you know, they're, oh, let me see. Oh, you know. So international celebrity. Uh I'm a big deal. That's the point of the whole story is I'm a big deal. This this week, your numbers actually will go up just from a. Right. Just from that that alone. Yeah. So they're all like, we got to download TikTok. All right, great. Blah, 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 blah. So then we get in there and we're back on the break and we're doing a. Got to go around the room and say something about you that people don't know. Uh, Whatever. Um, You know. 
they get to me, I don't even get to say anything. Like nothing even came out of my mouth yet. And one of the leaders, the bosses, knows obviously me. And again, you've got people in the room that have no idea who I am. And I don't even say anything. And they go, he goes, oh, come on, just tell everybody you were a professional wrestler. I'm like, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So now they're all like, what? what? This, you're a famous TikToker and a professional wrestler? I'm like, oh, come on. So now the whole room is in a buzz, you know. So next break, everybody's like, what, what was your wrestling name? How can I look you up? You know, so I'm giving out my YouTube, my TikTok. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm also, you he know, should, I got should. a food page. It's the Breakfast Club. You know, I'm, we're throwing, I'm throwing out shit all over the place. Uh, took over, like, the, the day. You know, people were very curious all day about a lot of different things. Um, so then we uh, we go, I, the, the end of this story is the, the what happened at the end of today to end my day is the most insane thing I've ever seen. But we'll, we'll, we're getting there. So, all right, everybody thinks I'm a celebrity star. You, know, you ever been on TV before? You know, and then I'm, now I'm playing it up. I'm like, oh, you ever watch WGN America? You know, I was on Ring Warriors. You know, like I was some national TV star. Uh, so I'm playing it up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, we go to last night, the team building, as it is, it's at an escape room. Have you ever done an escape room? No, and I never before? will. I never will. Let me tell you something. I'll never will. Fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah. That is the the dumbest, most horrible, <laughs> fun thing. Like, why do people think that's fun? There's nothing fun about that. So, it's team I'm building exercises. Breakfast. Right? All that bullshit. It's fucked out. Yeah. <laughs> so I put my Breakfast Club hoodie on to go. So we get we get to uh, – we can't find this place, right? So like I'm in my car with uh, three other guys, and I'm like, the GPS is – it's at this hospital. So like I pull in, and it's like attached to the hospital but to like the left of it. So the security guy's like, no, you're looking for escape room. It's in here. And I'm like, where the fuck are we going? So we get out, go inside, and it's like it's like a hospital. Like, and the guy's like, "Well, this used to be a wing of the hospital. It was actually dorm rooms uh, for like these interns that were doing some like hospital programs, but they they've actually uh, they don't do it anymore. So um, now it's an Airbnb, and on the fourth floor is an escape room. I'm like, this is the weirdest fucking thing ever." So we go up, get up to the top. I walk off the elevator, and the guy from the escape room is like there to welcome us and sees my hoodie, mm -hmm. right? And he literally doesn't say a word. He just throws up too sweet. <laughs> and right. So I throw it up with too sweet. To, uh, to explain to like all of your right. So too sweet came from originally from. I would say the click in WWF. Or so it's it's it a wrestling. Like, it's a wrestling thing. It's a wrestling thing. And right. like you a, do like a, a group of guys. Symbol. They right. do a hand symbol. It's kind of like a, a um. It's a cross between throwing up a gang sign and a and a high five. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. And you touch. You touch the the fingertips. The you make you make this fingertips. you make this sign with your hands, which is you you take your yeah. of, of your four fingers, not your thumb. You take the middle two. You you have them touch your thumb. You have the the outer two sticking up, and then you have kind of like a I don't know like a dog face kind of looking thing with your hand, and you touch right. the tip of the other guy doing the same thing. It's ridiculous. And forty, right. to, it's bad enough that twenty something year olds were doing it back in nineteen ninety seven, but right. but when fifty year olds are doing it in like yeah. a, you know two thousand and eighteen. <laughs> Right. Well, the funny part is, so I literally walked off. He did it. I, and it was like, not even a thought process to me. I literally just, just did it. It's a reflex because you, you, when someone really, throws it up, you got to you gotta return it. Yeah. I return the favor. Right. So one of the guys that I'm with, he listens to our podcast. He's a huge wrestling fan. He actually, you know, he watches AEW every week, hates WWE. Mm -hmm. uh, he knew right away. He was like, oh, that's cool. Well, then everybody else is like, do you know that guy? I was like, no. They're like, well, how do you, you like, you don't know him, but you guys just walked in and did this like hand signal. <laughs> like, like there was not even like a, there was no like conversation. And I feel like we between. have to, but, but I have to, I feel like we have to further explain the hand signal because 
he saw your shirt, okay? And your right. shirt is a parody of right. another wrestling group that came about, I don't know, what, seven, eight years ago? Maybe, yeah, some, yeah. somewhere around there, six years ago. And it was in, in New Japan Wrestling. They they right. stole it from the NWO guys oh. in WCW back in the 90s. So this is something right. that was from the 90s, was stolen by another group and, like, co-opted, adopted, uh, whatever, by this wrestling group, you know, six years ago. Then And now they see your sweatshirt, which is a parody of their group. Right. They're the Bullet Club. You, We made this Breakfast Club logo that's a parody of the Bullet Club. And he sees that, and it's reminiscent enough of right. the Bullet Club that he immediately throws up the symbol, and you, by reflex, return it. It's this is so right. bizarre. This is because like, did he? You think he mistook it for Bullet Club, or did he? One hundred percent, he did. <laughs> he or did he? Out. Or did he like get that it was a parody of it and just threw it up? No words were spoken, but here's the thing. Okay, so no words were spoken. <laughs> we throw it up. We too sweet each other. One guy gets it because he's a fan. He knows our gimmick. Everybody else is like, do you know that guy? I was like, no, I've never met him before. <laughs> and they're like, how have you never met this man? You just got off that elevator, and you guys didn't say a word to each other, but did the same hand symbol. Did like, a, it's weird. Did like, like a secret like, handshake, like the... Right. Like, like, like you knew, like I knew him, like, like I knew the, the like guy. Like the Van, like, I don't know this. Like your different chapters of the Van Buren boys from Seinfeld. Right. It's the weirdest <laughs> thing, right. So they're confused, right? But of course, one of the guys goes, he goes, uh, I, well, I said, I said, well, he, he must have recognized the, the shirt. And I, I was trying to explain it the way you just explained it. Didn't do a good job. So one of the guys goes, oh, my God. He knows your brand. So now I'm like, I got all these guys hook, line, and sinker. I go, exactly. He knows my brand. They're like, he really is famous. I was like, oh, you know. They're like, you just got off the elevator, and this guy saw your – and he, like, gave you this handsome one. You gave it back. Like, like they know you. I was like, oh, you know. I was like, he's probably a fan. And they're like, you're not even going to say anything to him? I was like, no. I was like, I, you know, I don't want to embarrass him. Like, I made it like this guy knew who I was. The guy, he had no fucking clue. He thought it was a Bullet Club shirt. There's no doubt about it. But I had a bunch of marks I could work, you know, at work. They all thought I was, you know, they think I'm famous. So I, mean, I our play up with it. I mean, our design isn't that close. I mean, in no. instead of a skull, it's a donut. And instead of the crossbones, it's a it's a fork and spoon. <laughs> right. And and and, 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 and we have colored sprinkles on our donut. Their shirt right. is just black and white. <laughs> right. Pink and, and, and pink and, that, and blue sprinkles. <laughs> not that this helps the cause or not, but this guy was the typical wrestling fan. He had on a uh like this like black like trench coat, but like he was indoors, like running the the escape room. So he's in this like black trench coat, but it has like those those coattails at the back, you know, like like he's some sort of like waiter or <laughs> you know what I'm talking Tail, about? Tails, yeah. He's got the tails, right? Yeah. So he's got that on. He's got on a anime shirt, uh Rapunge something anime shirt on. <laughs> and like, you know, he's got like the ch the chain wallet, like <laughs> <laughs> like the I'm like wallet. this guy is like the most typical fucking wrestling he's got, fan you could he's, ever see. He's got like in his headphones, it's just playing on repeat, like the crow soundtrack or something. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> like it couldn't be any more typical of like a a wrestling fan. So anyway, we do this we this fucking escape room. Uh, they give you one hour. You go in. And there's like eight of us, and you know, I don't I don't even want to be involved. So like I'm staying out of it, and they're like I'm acting like I'm like looking at stuff. I have no clue what I'm looking at. You know, I was just trying to keep busy so nobody didn't say I wasn't doing anything. Well, like 20 minutes go by, we don't have one fucking clue. So I just like lean over to read something, and they're like, "We can't figure this clue out." I was like, "Guys, the word shadow is the only word in that entire thing that's bold, and there's a lamp there." I go, "Obviously." For a shadow with the lamp and they're like yeah but we're not with the lights on i was like yeah turn the lights off 
turn the lights off. I figure out the fucking code. Boom. We're good. We're, we're rocking and rolling. I mean, you're just so now every like, moment you're just stepping in the spotlight with these people. You're like, right, right. <laughs> literally. Like I literally picked up the spotlight that was there that said press. I pressed it. It turned on. We shut the lights off. I did the whole gimmick and I go, there's, I said that, that there's four things where the shadows went and they go, we need those four cases. Those are the clues. We got the clues, whatever. Boom. And they're all like, Oh my God, how did you guess that? Literally I was paying zero attention. Like I just didn't even want to be in there, but I got lucky. Cause I looked down and I go, the whole, there's a whole paragraph and only the word shadow is in bold. <laughs> if that isn't a fucking clue. Right. And there's a lamp there. So anyway, these are we your move peers. On, we go to, these are your peers. Right. Right. We, Right, right. We go to the next room. There's like a second room. We, we end up not getting out. But uh, in the second room, we walk into the second room because I did nothing else that entire game. I was like, I was totally, I did my part. So we go into the second room and they're all looking at stuff. And I see it like a cabinet and I just open the cabinet and there's like a pyramid. And I'm like, that's weird. Like no other cabinet opens on the shelf, but this cabinet, and there's a pyramid. So I pick up the pyramid and underneath it is like this bottle of water. So I like take the bottle. They're all like fucking dust and stuff. They're like, you know, I take the bottle of water and I'm like looking around and I see a bucket and on the bucket says pour the water into the bucket and there's a clue. So I pour the water in and it like dissolves the, the coloring and there's a number. So I'm like, guys, guys, I got this. So I give them the number. <laughs> they fucking right. Right, so I had to even stick my hand in there and like swirl it around in this fucking murky water because to get the number. So I got the number, and they're like, "Oh crap! How did you? Where did you find that?" And so anyway, we do the thing. We can't get out. We lose. So wrestling fan guy comes in, and he was like telling us how we were supposed to do anything. The water that I found was like step five. I found it. We literally skipped five steps because I found it in the first two seconds. But we couldn't get out of the room because they couldn't figure out some Morse code shit anyway. So we lose, whatever. All good. Uh, go to a restaurant. I got to talk about the food because the experience uh, I had last night was – The restaurant was called Urban Licks. Urban? L-I-C-K-S. Licks. Right. Horrible fucking name. It's in a horrible location, but – you go in and I can't even like and... I can't even imagine what they serve. Like it, like it so, does. Here, listen to get the so we we go in right and the cow is like there's a like cow is, is there so I, I guess is there something with a cow in their tongue because that's what it was urban lick I don't thoroughly yeah, confused I don't know no fucking clue so uh. A predetermined, you couldn't order off the menu because we were so many people. It was like you had three choices. Uh, it's like you're flying was, on a plane. Right. It was an oven roasted chicken, a baked salmon, or steak. So those are your options. But your sides were if you got the steak, you could only get Brussels sprouts. If you got the chicken, you could only get mac and cheese. If you got the salmon, you can only get risotto. This place sucks. No switching. This place sucks. Fucking sucks. sucks. So. We sat down at 7:40 p.m. We did not get our food till like 9:10. Okay. You would think you would think uh, if they were expecting if they were expecting this huge group of people uh, to the point right. where they were going to only have three options that all these options were being like made in advance. One would think. Right? Jesus. Right. So anyway, I I really wanted the steak, so I said, can I get the steak with the mac and cheese? And the guy's like, oh, no, no, no. It's Brussels sprouts and steak. And I was like, I don't fucking want Brussels sprouts. So I got the chicken because it was a baked chicken with mac and cheese. It comes out. It looks for the eye, visual. Oh, wow. This is going to be good. Maybe it was worth this long of a wait. You ever see National Lampoons when they cut the turkey and it fucking deflates? <laughs> So I just cut into the chicken. It was so overcooked. It literally was like, Psh! I was like, oh my God, there's no meat. Cause it was, it was like stuck to the skin. It was so like fried. Like it was so overcooked. You could not, it was, it was not edible at all. So I ate the mac and cheese. 
And I was like, shit, I should have got the steak. Well, the guy next to me got the steak. He's like, it is so chewy. Like, he can't eat it. So anyway, we paid $55 a person. It was fucking wasted money. It was awful. Fucking horrible. There's no point to that part of the story except for if you live just... in the Atlanta area or ever come here, don't go to Urban Licks. That was the worst service and meal I think I've ever had. Not to mention the dessert they gave us was a chocolate mousse that they must have just took out of the freezer because it was so hard, it broke the plastic spoon. Why did you, you couldn't even <laughs> dig into it. Why did you pull a snake master and just complain your way out of the $55? I, the company was paying for it. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So, oh, it, right. it, when you when you name the price, I assume that meant you paid for it. Right. No, I, no, 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 no. But anyway, so anyways, and so... We'll skip to today. This is the part. So wait, so what I, so well, hold on though. So then, what did you eat afterwards? So I I was angry, like I was angry. So <laughs> we uh, we got in the car and uh, we drove back to the hotel because I figured. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't make everyone uh, go through a drive through with you. Well, there were probably other people as dissatisfied with their meal as you were. Everybody was pissed. Right. So. Uh, and it's funny because the steak came on a bed of uh, – we were like in tears laughing. It came on this bed of black stuff. I, not even kidding you, it looked like a cow took a shit on a plate and they put steak on top of it. And the guy's like, oh, it's black beans. But it was so – they like cooked the black beans to where it was like hard. It was like a hard piece of black bean. I'd never seen anything like it, but we were in tears laughing. Uh it was it was bad. So I was like, "All right, we'll get back to the hotel, and then I'm gonna go to the lobby and get something." Well, we stayed at a Marriott, but like one of these really fancy Marriotts. They uh, nothing. I they, like I got to the. They didn't even have a bottle of water. It was like all fancy shit, fancy candy. So I was like, maybe some ice cream. The ice cream was like ten dollars for an ice cream bar. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting. No, I. I went to bed. I went to bed pissed off. I was angry. Oh, I, was I would hungry. have. I would have spite ordered something to the hotel. I was so pissed. I went to bed so that they would so have anyway, seen that I, I got something. I wasn't gonna eat their right. trash, and I and had just like, you know, it was whole, bad. It was bad. Yeah. So whole, I wake up whole this morning, thing. and I, I don't wake up in time for breakfast. So I miss breakfast. Probably uh, a blessing. I miss getting coffee. I miss getting coffee. So now I'm at the meeting, just pissed off, angry. They don't call me like the, at the meeting. No, 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 no. Why the fuck would we have that? No, no. We had we had pastries from two days prior. I, I was so hungry at one point. I ate an apple fritter from two days ago. Yeah, I got up and ate one. It was probably. Strange. And everybody's like, "You're really eating that?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm a celebrity. I'm an international star. I can eat whatever I want." So I ate it, but it was not good. It was like rock hard. So, uh, meeting ends early, like eleven o'clock, and I have to take two guys to the airport. But their flight was like later, so they're like, "Hey, you want to grab lunch?" And I was like, "Yeah." So I I took them to, I gave them three options, the varsity. Oh, why would you even include that? Because they're not from they're from Texas. Re- regardless, so why would it was. why give them a bad fucking experience? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm angry right now. They, let me tell you though, they saw it on TV, so I gave them a disclaimer. I said, "Listen, I'm gonna I, varsity is an option." But I'm telling you right now, good luck flying today because you probably will have to shit on the plane. Right. And they're both like, no, no, we're not going. I was like, good. <laughs> I don't want to go there. Right? So I, I was, was immediately my – that was my thought too. I'm glad you right. said so that. So they said no. So, okay. Option two, the vortex. Oh. Guys have been there before. So okay. I said, okay. And this is the funny part of this because the one guy's like, I don't know if I've ever been there. And the other guy goes, do you remember rubbing a, a giant wooden penis when you walked in? He goes, I was, I've been there before. <laughs> Immediately, right? So the giant wooden penis, they have a giant wooden <laughs> penis when you walk in. You have to rub it three times for good luck. It's, it's bad gigantic. When, it's bad when that's more memorable than the food. Than uh, the food, right. I feel like, so we didn't go I feel like that's a manager stealing the spotlight from a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> the penis is the whole show. Right. 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 Um, so third option. What's behind curtain Mary three? Max, Mary Max Tea Room. You right. know what that is? Yeah, I know it because I've seen you post pictures from it. Right. Including today. The Mary Max Tea Room opened in 1945. Oh, my God. This fucking historian bullshit. 1945. 
It is soul food, home cooking, like just comfort food. Uh, I went to Mary Max for the first time seven years ago. The guy that waited on us today, he worked there seven years ago. I remember him like distinctly. Uh, anyway, so I ordered, we all three of us ordered the meatloaf. I'm not kidding you. The best meatloaf I've ever had homemade or in a restaurant in my life. I, I finished it and I was like, I don't even want my size. I want more meatloaf. That's how good the meatloaf was. Like it is the best meatloaf. If you're ever in Atlanta, call me. We will go to Mary Max Tea Room. I'm getting the fucking meatloaf because it was that good. I usually get the fried chicken or the chicken and dumplings there. I, meatloaf just took the award. I'll be, honest, I'll be honest ever. with you. I saw the picture of the meatloaf. I'm not a fan of red, red sauce on meatloaf like that. Ketchup. Yeah. Whatever. It is is ketchup not a red sauce? It doesn't matter. It's, it's not a red sauce. It's ketchup. No, I'm not. Don't different, different. I don't play around with that shit. E- either give me brown gravy or melt some cheese on it or 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 plain. No. I'm not, I, no no red world? sauce. Maybe a barbecue, but nah. No, no ketchup, no ketchup. Missing out. You fucking... come to Atlanta, you're eating there with ketchup. No, I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, and I'm gonna say no hillbilly shit. No what hillbilly you shit. Fried chicken? Huh? No, I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna personally get meatloaf and say no fucking ketchup. If I see one drop of red on my fucking plate, then I'm gonna turn this table over because I'm asking no fucking ketchup. No, no, no. You can't do that. What do you mean you I can't? You do don't that? run the because you don't run the fucking menu. I You're fucking not Mary Max. I fucking run what I want to put in my mouth, and it's not gonna have ketchup on it. I don't pull that hillbilly shit. You're not Mary Mac. No, 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 no hillbilly shit here. So the meal was was fantastic. Now the two scenes that happened. Uh, or, or I'm after sorry, we left. Not hillbilly. Huckleberry, right? Is that what you guys call it? Huckleberries. Huckleberries. Right. The scene that happened. The two scenes that happened after were were amazing. So we walk out, three scenes actually. We walk out, and the minute we step out, this homeless guy is just relentless, like asking us for leftover. We don't have any leftovers because I would have given it to him if I did money, you know, whatever. Uh, but his attention his attention got diverted when a very good looking woman walked by, and he went from like following us, begging us for money. The minute he walked by, he just literally stopped talking and started started following her. So we were like laughing, whatever. And we get to the corner and there is a person, I'll say that to start in the street, in the middle of the street, just screaming, like screaming. I don't know what this person's saying, but we realize it's a man dressed as a woman and he's screaming, uh, everybody like people are walking by he's in the road and he's just screaming so the other two guys are like oh god let's go this is scary it's sketchy i was like no this is atlanta like i don't know what to tell you so of course you didn't film you it know, you didn't go ask ask their I pronouns film it because, anything let me tell you why because it started coming after us yeah that's so, that's the best time to be filming it I read, like it wasn't like asking for money they were literally like trying to attack someone uh, and there was a girl on the other side of the street, and I was like, I hope he doesn't see her because he's going to kill her. Uh, and he didn't. So anyway, we uh, um, we get in the car, and we're, like, laughing about it, you know, whatever. And I uh, I uh, pull out, and we get to the corner, and we're laughing. And I don't <laughs> see this happen this way. What I saw today, I've never seen in my life. We look over. And we all three of us kind of look over, and a guy, a homeless man, pulls down his pants. They're around his ankles. Willie's flopping all over the place, and he starts projectiling shitting out of his ass. <laughs> and you're gonna say, did you film it? Uh, the light turned green, and I would be, I would I, not care. I would be like, excuse, I, go I, around I, me. I, no, yeah. I, what I saw, it would have got me banned from TikTok. I yeah, have but never I'm, seen. You could have sent it to the group chat at least. <laughs> I've, I have taken a lot of shits in my life. Oh, coming out of that man's ass today. <laughs> I 
when it first started, we were all like, oh my God, he's shitting. It just, I, I, I hear you describe, he had obviously had diarrhea. <laughs> it was like this light brown, but it was coming out of such a rapid flow that it, it was like, it looked like from from floor to ass cheek because he was standing he wasn't even sitting he was like he was literally just like hands on his knees like like he was in the huddle like getting the next play what like, you're and what, it was, what you're saying is it didn't look like something was coming out of him as much as he was just dragging a tail behind him i'm not even kidding you it was this thick like <laughs> it looked like a pipe <laughs> And it was like it wasn't stopping. If they if like, they if they stuck through the fucking wrestling talk, and they stuck through the football talk, and they stuck not, stuck right. through the food talk, and we got them all hungry and mouth watering, and now you, now you just smacked them. You just pulled a one eighty. Uh, look, I have, look, I'm <laughs> telling you right now, what I saw today, I've never seen in my life, and I my stomach hurts that, from laughing. <laughs> no, it's ingrained. In, like there. <laughs> This is this moment. I like. I'm talking about it. My eyes are open. I don't even have to close my eyes. I literally can tell you what he was wearing, what he looked like, and what was coming out of him because it was the most. I've never seen anything like that in my life. It was so vivid, and the guys that were with me in the car were like, "What the fuck?" Like, one's from Dallas. And Welcome from to Houston. Atlanta. <laughs> and, and so the light turned green. <laughs> And the guy behind me beeps the horn because he probably doesn't want to see it anymore either. I, I start to drive, and I literally, my exact words were, well, welcome to Atlanta, guys. <laughs> and the three of us started laughing so hard, I couldn't see. I was crying. <laughs> we laughed, like, for 20 minutes to the airport when I had dropped off. Because, I, like, and, like, I was like, have you guys ever, like, am I, is this just me that... And both of them are like, uh, look, they're old, they're older than me, and they're like, we're older than you. We've lived longer. We've I live in Texas, and well, I've never both of them like I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like, what the fuck did he eat? <laughs> like, well, was like the funnier line, the welcome to Atlanta would have been, I hope he didn't get the meatloaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I promise you, I've never ever ever in my life have seen anything like that would happen i've never seen that before in my life i, I don't even know the color of it <laughs> the, the way it was shooting out like and he just like the funny part is there was other people like walking like business people <laughs> there were some people sitting like it was in front of a church and there was like people sitting on the steps of the church and it was like a full audience out there. What, he literally just shit everywhere. On the what you've walk. described, I was like, I can only imagine you seeing it. Right. But just from you describing it to me, I'm st it's starting. I'm starting to get like phantom shit smells sitting here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like never... I can only imagine that you in the car. You guys must have imagined you smelled it the way you saw it. Oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, like, and it was funny because, like, it, it started to happen, and we all kind of did the same. Like, we all, like, leaned in closer, like, towards the window. Like, because you wait, can't believe what? what you're seeing. Yeah. Right. Like, because, right. Because he just, like, I, like, at first we just saw, like, a swinging willy and then ass cheeks. <laughs> and, and I think that was the initial thing was, like, what is going on over there? And then it just started. It just started, the faucet turned on, and we were all like, oh, shit. Like, I was like, what the hell? Like, this is insane. It was, I've never, I've never in my life seen anything like that before. Ever. I mean, I mean, I mean, what could he have eaten? You know what I mean? Like, fuck, I don't know, but that was. Like, that's maybe like three or three day old dumpster food or something, maybe. I mean, he was just, oh, my God. Yeah, that was insane. But uh, we laughed for 20 minutes. Like, <laughs> literally could not stop. I could not stop laughing because I just, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Ever in my life. But, uh, yeah, Atlanta is like, I no, like, I'm not going to go there very often. Oh, you mean like downtown? It's, no, yeah, no, it's sketch. Is, is, that yeah. Where, is that where Mary Max is, downtown? 
It is, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, it's downtown, but uh. Yeah, that fuck. sucks to be her- seen to, like I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. That's that's annoying when you go to a restaurant and you're like the second you walk out you're getting harassed by people for you know. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like no, that's that's on the restaurant to like make sure that's not happening. Yeah. No, it's a, it's it's pretty insane out there, but uh 'cause that'll yeah, ins- I, I just, that'll ensure like a percentage of people don't come back. Like, oh I'm not going there so. again. I got mu- I, I, I I almost uh, like essentially got mugged by someone, you know? On the way out the door. Right, right. Yeah. No, it was a oof, what a scene. But I I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I I can't get the image out of my head. The color of the shit was like I've never. I can't even get that out of my head. Like I. And I even said to myself, "Oh my! I wish I could have taken out my phone." But like it happened. My phone was in my pocket. I'm driving. It's just so fast that like it was it was not believable. Like. Like, I had to think for a second, like, did that really just fucking happen? Like, that just happened. Yeah. Insane. So, uh, I, I'm i scarred for life. I don't know what to do. It's tremendous. I don't know. That's tremendous. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my well, shit story. Of the I day. was I was struggling to, uh, to as we were talking, listening, uh, I was trying to come up with the uh, title for the episode. And I think, uh, well, I, I hope he didn't order the meatloaf as uh it's going to be the title of this episode. I hope he didn't, order it. <laughs> I hope he didn't get the meatloaf. Uh, actually, yeah. for my sake, because well, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think for that reaction, you you'd have already uh, you'd have already done your impression of a human fountain. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I will tell you that one last thing about what what I ate there. I've never. Uh, I'd never eaten this before in my life. I didn't even know it existed. It was it, the the waiter comes over with these three little cups of like liquid and a piece of cornbread with each cup, and he said, uh, "Have you ever had the pot liquor soup?" And uh, we're like, "The what?" He's like, "The pot liquor soup." And uh, I, my first reaction to him is, "Is this some sort of joke?" And he's like, "No." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, like I thought he was. I thought it was a like." Hot liquor soup and have like a punch. A lot of lick, you know? like lick, lick, liquor. Right. Like everybody here is licking in there, right? yeah. licking and shitting. Uh, so he's like, no. He, I was like, he's like, no, it's not a joke. He's like, we take in this little thing, this liquid you see is the after they make the collard greens, it's the liquid that's left. Yeah, and you put the cornbread in the liquid and eat it as a soup, and. uh he like walked away, and the three of us are like, "Is he fucking with us?" Because he goes, uh, "It's for for your first time being here the, for the for them to." And I said, "I've been to this place like ten times. I've been with people that have never. Nobody's ever brought this over. I feel like this guy's ribbing us. Like this is a fucking rib." And well, also, know. also, it might. I mean, it's not a ton of liquid. I don't think they like. I think when they no. have empty a tray out, they make it and they pick a table or two to do give it to. So I, I tried it. It was actually really fucking good. Yeah, I never heard of it before. Pot liquor soup. So, but I mean, yeah. what do you? But you dip the cornbread in it, right? No, he says you break the cornbread and then eat it with all with a spoon. Oh, oh, yeah. so it's like a like a mush. Yeah, it was oh, okay. actually really good. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So, but yeah, lots of lots of weird experiences this week. I'm I'm gonna stay out of Atlanta from now on downtown. It's just a absolute shit show literally literally so or literally. or when you go downtown or more time down have there your, and... have your phone in your hand right maybe i should spend more time there i i right. I, I think any given fucking day you could uh right you could have some uh, right. video gold there for sure yeah all right i got nothing else all this shit talk makes me want to go. So. Yeah, I, I figure as much. I, plus, I, I like, like again, like I'm, I had the, I, every now and then I catch like a phantom whiff of shit. Right. And yeah. and now it's like, yeah. well, it's kind of trying to be me tonight. I got to go to bed with that image in my head. <laughs> you think about that. My whole life is ruined now. Good, good. Yeah. That's that's what you get for making I'll never me forget it. Wait till fucking ten o'clock at night to record this podcast. Yeah. You, Whatever. What do you mean, whatever? All right. All right. Well, uh, go lick yeah, your go lick your pots and uh, all right. 
<laughs> Pleasant dreams, I guess. <laughs> yeah, goodbye.